Welcome to Scribble Kibble. Today we're going to take a look at a piece of equipment called a light box or a light pad. This is useful for traditional artists and traditional animators. This model is a Huion LED light pad L4S. It costs about $40, and the work area is slightly bigger than a typical piece of 8x11 printer paper. Some of these light pads come with a glove and pencils. Mine is a simpler package. Open the box, and there's a thank you card, manual, USB power cord, paper clip, and the light pad itself. This model is extremely thin and light. At first I was worried about breaking it, but it's an acrylic surface instead of glass. It's more flexible and stronger than it looks. It also has non-slip pads on the bottom. I was surprised that its power source is a USB cable. You can plug it into your computer, or into your cell phone charger, or into your car. I've seen some people complain about other light boxes that the length of the power cable is too short. This one is not. It's six feet long. Once it's plugged in, tap the power button once to turn it on or off. Press and hold the power button without letting go to change brightness. So, what might you use a light pad for? Most artists are going to use it to turn sketches into clean line art, to transfer a drawing onto a new type of paper, for example, onto watercolor paper, or to trace stuff. You can also use a light pad for traditional animation. I'm drawing three key poses of a dragon sneezing to work with later on. The Huion L4S is bright enough to shine clearly through about five sheets of printer paper. Any more than that and it gets hard to see. It'll shine through thick paper like cardstock too. The silver paper clip slides onto any edge of the light pad. It's a tight fit, so you have to use a bit of force to get it on. The clip is a bit difficult to use because it's so tight, but it will hold papers in place once you manage to get them under there. They don't need to be that far beneath the clip for it to work, and the clip doesn't leave any imprints on the paper. You may not even need the clip because even though the surface of the light pad is smooth, it's slip resistant. The piece of paper directly touching the light pad won't slide around very much. Tracing an image is really easy to do with one of these. You can make clean line art out of a messy sketch quickly. Turn the light box off once you don't need the sketch anymore and keep working. There, clean line art with no pencil lines or eraser marks or sketch marks. For animation, you definitely want to use the clip. Stack two of your keyframes together and adjust the brightness so you can see both. If the light is too bright, you won't be able to see your top drawing, so you have to kind of adjust the light to get it where you need it. And from there, you reference the two drawings and draw the pose in between. I don't really have any issues with this light pad at all. It's just a very simple piece of equipment, and I don't really have any cons for it. It's just a nice thing to have for when you need to trace stuff. Or, you know, draw a lot of traditional animation frames. I'm gonna make another in-between pose leading to the top of the inhale. The nice thing about the light pad is I can see the motion arcs, for instance the arc that the nose follows, by stacking the keyframes on top of each other. And that way you can keep track of where things are supposed to be so they don't get distorted when the character's moving around. If you're animating with drawings that have a lot of detail, it can be hard to see clearly through multiple papers, so it's nice to be able to turn the light off and draw details more accurately by memory, and then turn it back on when you need to check. The light pad is especially useful for frames that are close together. I want to draw an open mouth pose that is only slightly different from the original drawing. So being able to see the first picture lets me make sure that the head is in the right position on the page. Same thing with the sneeze, I need three drawings that are fairly identical. For the most part, I can quickly trace what's already there, even keeping the sketchy look by copying rough lines from the image underneath.
At this point, if you wanted a clean animation, all you would need to do is use the light box to create final line art of each image the same way I did for the forward-facing dragon earlier. It'd be time-consuming to do final line art for all of those images, but that's traditional animation! I like the gritty sketchiness, so let's scan all of this in and see what happens. By the way, even after an hour, the light pad did not get hot, since it uses LED light. My hand didn't get sweaty and didn't stick to the surface, so I'd have to say that my favorite things about this light pad are its lightweight portability, its non-slip surface, and the fact it doesn't get hot. And oh yeah, because it's LED light, it'll last forever. You could leave it on day and night for five years and it'd still work. <laughs> That's the Huey on Lightpad L4S. For more art product reviews, go to scribblekibble.com, click on the episodes page, and hit the product reviews button. See you next time!